Thanks for joining me. I'm local 12 meteorologist Erica Kalora. A lot of us heard a lot of loud thunder the other night, and we're going to talk about why the thunder was so loud because it's not always that loud. Well, first, you need to know how a regular thunderstorm forms. Usually you have an unstable air mass, which means you have warmer air at the surface. Warm, moist air rises, condenses, form in, forms into a cloud, and if you have enough instability, that cloud produces a storm, and you have that colder air up in the atmosphere, which creates an unstable atmosphere. That's how your average thunderstorm forms. And when you have the lightning, that sound of the thunder associated with the lightning, can't have thunder without lightning, you get that to come down to the ground, and it kind of radiates back into the atmosphere. So you lose some of the sound of the thunder. Now, what we had the other night was called an inversion. It's actually kind of the opposite of what we usually see. It's when the temperature rises as it goes higher in the atmosphere. So you actually have warmer air thousands of feet above the surface, which we usually don't have. But that's what's called an inversion, and that creates what's called elevated storms. So the storms just form higher in the atmosphere. So this is due to mainly a warm front or stationary front, just like we saw the other night. And you have the cold air kind of trapped at the surface with warmer air higher in the atmosphere. And we see that cold pool kind of soak in the thunder sound. So the lightning comes down and the thunder with it, the sound of it, and it gets trapped in that cold pool of air at the surface and it kind of radiates horizontally. And that's how you get that rolling sound. It's called ducting and that's why the sound was so amplified the other night.